I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to represent fractions on number line. So we have a question followed by a test question. The question here is, represent minus 1, 4 over 3 and 2 over 3 on a number line and then arrange in descending order. Now descending order means highest to lowest, decreasing order, right? So let us understand how to represent these fractions on a number line. So let me draw a line here. And let's begin by marking 0 somewhere in the center. Let's say that is 0 for us. We have to represent these numbers, minus 1. Negative numbers are on the left side of a number line. So on the left side, let's say that is negative 1. This is negative 2. So we can write these numbers as negative 1, negative 2. So the first number, negative 1, could be marked here, which is negative 1, correct? Now, all numbers are same distance away. So each one unit is that long. So approximately, let me mark 1 and 2 also on the right side of 0. These are positive numbers. 4 over 3 means what? Now, 4 over 3 means that this one unit has to be divided into three parts. So now I'm trying to represent 4 over 3. So that means 4 one thirds. You could think like this 4 one thirds, right? So to get 4 over 3, We'll divide one unit into three equal parts. Let's say these are three equal parts. A second unit also, let me divide it into three equal parts. When I say four over three, that means we are looking for four one thirds. So this is one, one third. Each is one third, correct? Two, three, and four. So this point here represents. 4 over 3. Do you get the idea? As you can see, it is also equal to 1 whole and 1 over 3. Correct? So 4 over 3 is same as 1 whole, 1 over 3. Now this is improper fraction and that one is a mixed fraction, right? So this is a mixed number we say. So if I write in that form, it could be written as mixed number. And we call 4 over 3 as improper fraction since the numerator is higher than denominator, correct? Now, can you tell me where will 2 over 3 be? Let's mark 2 over 3 on this number line. So 2 over 3 means 2 one thirds, correct? That means, that means 2 one thirds, correct? So this is 1 one third and that's the second one. So that is 2 over 3. So 2 over 3 is right there. So we have marked all the three fractions on our number line. Now let us arrange them in descending order. Now descending order means from means what? means decreasing, right? means decreasing. Or from highest to lowest. On a number line, which number is greatest? The greatest number is the one which is on the rightmost side. So the number which is on the rightmost side is 4 over 3. So, so we could write that in this form. 4 over 3 is the greatest of all these three numbers. Next is 2 over 3 and then the negative 1 which is lowest in these three numbers. Correct? So in this part of the video we have understood what are fractions, what are improper fractions, what are mixed numbers and how they can be represented on a number line. With that in mind here is a test question for you. So now you need to represent 
minus 2 over 5 minus 8 over 5 1 whole 1 over 2 and 3 over 4 on a number line and then arrange them in ascending order means increasing order correct so you can pause the video answer this question and then check with my solution correct so let's begin by placing a zero somewhere in the center right and then we'll mark one now since on the left side we have like minus two over five that means we want small divisions which are one fifth so what i will do here is i'll make five divisions one two three four so you see this is one two three four and this is the fifth one do you see that so so these are five divisions of one so if i mark here one each small division is one fifth right so let me again do it so we say one two three four and this is the fifth one so this gives me two correct so likewise i could write on the left side all negative numbers one two three four and then the fifth one these are negative numbers right on the right side we are given the fractions as over 2 and 4 so what I will do here is that I will just take this length as I have taken there mark the 1 and 2 for the time being and then we'll divide as per the denominator do you understand okay now let me do the difficult part first which is the left side numbers with negative sign so the first number here is minus 2 over 5 so minus 2 over 5 means what minus 2 over 5 that means we have to move left 2 fifths correct now 2 fifths means can you help me you have to start with 0 each number here is 1 fifth each number here is 1 over 5 right so we go 1 and then 2 so that is where 2 over 5 is so let me make this as position a so our a is at minus 2 over 5 do you get it so this is what is 2 fifths now what is minus 8 over 5 minus 8 over 5 means we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this position b will be equal to minus 8 over 5 does it make sense to you correct out of a and b which one is smaller number b is smaller the numbers on the left are smaller right so so numbers on the left they are decreasing numbers on the right are increasing remember that part okay now i think those difficult ones have been taken care of now you do these you can always pause your video and answer the question okay let me complete this test now so we'll place one hole that means one hole means one full jump right one hole and then half of it so half will be somewhere in the center then half of it does it make sense to you let me call this point as c and point c for us is one hole 1 over 2 correct so that is C for us how about 3 fourths 3 fourths is less than 1 to get to 3 fourths we have to divide one full division into four equal parts the denominator right so now we are trying to do 3 fourths so we have to divide this unit into four equal parts so that is half and half of half is 1 fourth so 3 fourth means 1 2 and 3 so this point is d for us so d is 3 fourth correct now we have to arrange them in ascending order 